It is 8.02 a.m. for Tuesday, August 28th, 2018. Will you see this video today? I don't know. Will you see it tomorrow? Maybe. But I want to... I want to talk about something today. But first, shout out to... All 122 of my fabulous Team Awesome subscribers. I uh, I noticed I noticed you 122. Since I don't know who you are, uh, shout outs to you. Um, I have my suspicions. You're either Cometic Rose or Cometic Witchcraft. And, uh, shout outs to you. You came at a good time because I'm starting to prepare my October month. Because on this channel, not only do I talk about my witchy life and, and whatever, October, we get a little spoopy. We do Ouija readings. In October and I read for the book Haunted Indiana where it's nothing but folklore and myths of the Hoosier State of the most haunted areas so you have subscribed just in time But this video, <sighs> I don't even know where to begin because it's all one giant chain. But I'm going to condense it as much as I can. Monday after I came in and you can watch the videos at the end screen but I came in Monday morning had a paranormal experience and things just kept getting weirder and freakier as the day progressed I wasn't hallucinating yet but I was definitely seeing some paranormal stuff going on in my home. Not to mention that I was about to have a damn near panic attack. So. Then I crashed about like 3.40 something. Woke up at 8. So a 4 something hour nap. And then sleepless night, I lost count, continued. So I come in here about 5 o'clock in the morning again. As I always do. I'm feeling a little hungry. So I make myself a peanut butter sandwich. And I picked up a nasty habit from my former roommate where he's got to watch something while he eats. Because, you know, he has to have something to watch while he eats. He, he won't eat until he has something to watch. Like, really, dude? I can eat with without entertainment. I don't need it. <laughs> But I was called to watch a particular video.
by J.D. Temple. His YouTube channel is From the Light of the Darkness. I just recently subscribed to him last week, along with Curtis Joseph, who, by the way, I got into a one-minute war with. But we're civilized. We're men. We, uh, we talked it out. We both said apologies. We went on our merry way. Now I'll make a video if people want to know more about it. But like that'll be a separate video. But I've been subscribing to most of the Become a Living God crew members of EA Coedings group. J.D. Temple, J.S. Garrett, Curtis Joseph, former member Espen Kane, um, Absworn Torval. Uh, I don't have nothing against the guy, but the Nordic, the Nordic scene's not my thing. So, like, he's a cool dude, but I just, it's just not my thing. Um, now these people work with uh, the darker magic spirituality, um, the Goetia, um, Luciferianism, Satanism, you know, Goetic magic mostly. Just like kind of like EA quitting cuz he's all over the place really but he always comes back to the goetic spirituality so i get called to watch this video specifically this one video called why i can't do magic I'm like, okay. Always trust your instinct, folks. Now, I noticed my brother Waylon from the Black Tower just 17 hours prior uh, had a watch of that video. I saw his comment in the comments. Because I always check comments for amusing things. Um, the trolls and seeing all the hashtag uh, triggered Christians that go out of their way to condemn people. Um, so I saw his comment. Now, I don't know his reasoning from for watching it, but... Um, but for me, I was called to watch that video because... There were some truths in that video that I needed to hear. Some reinforcing validation. Now, I'm going to link the video in my description. You don't have to be, you know, Luciferian or uh, Satanist or work with the Goetia. You know, you don't have to be of the darker paths. You could be Wiccan. Um, because your spirituality is just a face. If that makes sense. In this sense of 
some of the f truths in this video. Now, I went in thinking he's going to be talking about people whose spells don't work or just starting out, but no. He was talking about those days where you just want to lie in bed for the rest of your life because life kicked you and then it kicked you down and then it kept kicking you where you have those days where you just don't feel like doing anything but lie in bed um, you know you just have those days where you just don't feel like even doing magic And he even brought up something about what do you do when you can't use magic? What will you do for when there is a situation that magic can't be used? Which I know is a little, um, which I know isn't true. Because magic can be do, uh, done for most things. But, but for those times where you're in a situation where magic isn't coming to you, what do you do? Now I thought about this. And I'm like, damn, I don't even know. He did bring up that, you know, magic can be used for anything. Some people do use magic to solve all their problems. Um, those are the lucky people. But for some of us, you know, magic is an enhancer. It's to help ease a situation like I'm in right now. For you new people, I'm in a terrible situation. And I'm trying to save my home from being foreclosed on. I'm trying to keep up with the bills. I'm trying to stay fed. All still trying to find a job. Because I had that moment where depression horribly slapped me and the point he was making in the video was on those days you got to get up you got to force yourself to get up And do something. If you've got 20 tasks you got to do, do one a day. Do one a day till you start doing more and more and getting them done. And I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that it's okay to have those days where you don't feel like you want to do anything. You just want to hide from the rest of the world. But 
You can't do that. You gotta keep fighting. I needed to hear that because I'm in a situation where I would love to hide. I really would. But you stick your head in the sand all the time. You eventually are going to get your butt bit off by something. Because life will get real. I mean, life is real, but there's going to be times, like he said, where it gets real. And it'll get in your face, and it will knock you down. I'm paraphrasing, by the way, but... You gotta get up and keep going and I needed to hear that I needed that revalidate or revalidation yeah that's not a word I needed to hear that validation again Reconfirmation. Is that even a word? I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. And those days where you feel like you just can't do magic. Well, get out your hands and start doing it the old-fashioned way. And I needed to hear that. Always listen to your instincts. Always listen to your instincts. Because your intuition is usually right. It was right about me watching that video. Because, I mean, the video goes a little bit deeper than what I'm saying. I mean, it was a 47-some-odd-minute video that kind of went fast, but it's definitely worth the watch or listen. I mean, there's a lot more depth and more things he said, but I'm just telling you the parts that reconnected to me in my situation because maybe it can help you and I just, you know, it's just something that needed to be said. Because we're all human. We all have our days. But... That being said, 
I'm going to end this video. I don't know when I'll upload it, but you'll see it when you see it, I guess. And to see this video, um, click that little bell icon. Stay informed. Because apparently this whole insomnia 5 a.m. bullshit that I'm going through is a perfect time to make videos. Um, be sure to read the description uh, for things that didn't get in into the video. Sometimes I post funny things. You never know. Um, the link to the video will be in there. And my GoFundMe link is still in the description if you want to donate any size amount to help me save my home. Uh, or if you just want to share the link, uh, that's good too. I appreciate the sharing and the caring and the donation. Donations. That's how tired I am. I'm, I'm really tired. Five hours of sleep after like a week of no sleep. Plus, it's really hot today. So, yeah, that's not going to help either. Um, links where you can find me, uh, friend me, follow me, uh, that'll be in the descriptions as well. If you have any questions, comments, and or concerns, uh, please leave them in the uh, comment section down below. And I'm going to call this video done. And I would like to leave you with some words of wisdom. From as this loads, because it, you know, okay. I leave you with the the wisdom of Oscar Gamble. They don't think it be like it is, but it do.